Hi everyone, it's That Embroidery Girl here back with another tutorial finally and this time it's a lobster design. So I've tried to keep this super simple but I have made it semi 3D. I've got a little bit of padding under there but basically it's bullion knots, my favourite, favourite, favourite stitch, woven pico and some French knots to finish off. So first thing I'm going to do is start off with this stranded cotton. So this is a DMC and I'll be using half and the full strand. And I've also got some light fine coloured wool and this is going to be used for the padding. So first things first, I'm going to trace out a rough lobster design. I'm actually doing this in black pen on top of a water soluble pen. So I drew out in water soluble pen the rough idea of a lobster and I'm just transferring that over into something more permanent with this black pen. And this is on a piece of linen. And now I'm going to start the pad work. So I'm just using a single strand of this fine white wool and a nice big fat needle. So I'm going to start my bullion knot and the bullion knot is actually going to start the first one from the very tip nose part here. So I'm going to come up with my needle and then back down where the tail section ends and then back up at the nose. I'm going to pull that back bit tight and then I'm going to start wrapping around the needle like so. As I'm wrapping I'm going to periodically measure to make sure that I've got enough wraps and when I'm happy I'm going to pull the wraps down and then pull that needle through these wraps. Now that this is a little bit tricky so just be really patient and do it nice and softly and gently. Pull it down, move it all about with your fingers so it's nice and even and then bring that needle down through the fabric like so. And repeat that process on either side of this bullion knot to fill up your tracing underneath. And once you've done that just put a stitch in to hold them all together. Now I'm happy, I'm going to start with my red thread. So I'm actually going to separate a full strand of this, three on one side, three on the other. And I'm only going to be using three strands for most of this project. And I'm going to come up with a finer needle now and these three strands on it. And I'm just going to put a couple of straight stitches over the nose area like so. And I'm going to fill this section up until I get to the point where all three of these bullion stitches are. So where the two other sides begin. At this point here, I will start my bullion stitches again in the opposite direction to the ones in the pad work. So you can see again, I've come up, gone down, come up, and then I'm just wrapping this around the needle, pulling the needle through, and then taking the needle back down through the fabric. And I'm gonna fill up almost all of my lobster this way until I get to around about a third of the way down. And then I'm gonna switch directions and have lengthways just to elongate that towel. So another bullion stitch, and this time the needle has come up through the pad work. So just be careful with that and fill up the space so that you can no longer see any white. And a final finishing touch, you can add a horizontal bullion stitch just to hide any of these joins and this is what you should be left with. So I'm just going to put a straight couching stitch over the bottom here just to hold these all together and to also create almost like a bump and I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to take a full strand of black stranded cotton and with a nice big fat darner's needle, I'm going to do some French knots for my eyes. And once I'm happy with that one, I'm going to repeat on the opposite side. Keep squidging and manipulating the body just to make sure it looks like what you want it to look like. I'm then going to take a single strand of black cotton here and I'm going to do this little antenna bit. Now you can also do this in red, but I just wanted it to stand out in the black. And I'm just gonna do back stitch, just a single strand to outline this antenna. I'm not actually sure if this is called an antenna. I'm not really sure what the things on the lobster's heads are. Leave it in the comments. Educate me please, people of YouTube. Okay, so once that's done, I'm just going to use the same thread to put a couple of stitches in these big eyes just to make sure that they're both level and they're sitting how I want them to sit. And then I'm going to take a single strand of white cotton and I'm just going to add some eye dots in the eyes just to make the eyes seem more alive and to give a little bit of reflection. 
Do this carefully and gently. You can use your finger as a laying tool almost just to make sure that you don't pull it too tight and that these little white dots are sitting on the top of the French knots like so. So I'm fairly happy with that. I'm just going to play with my needle, make sure that they're exactly in line and exactly how I want them to be. And now I'm going to start outlining my claws. I'm going to do, do this in a chain stitch. So come up and go down in the same place you come up and then come up a little distance away and catch the loop that has formed like so. And then repeat that process going inside each subsequent loop. When you come to the point where it, it needs to be a very sharp point, you're going to go down and then start a new line of chain stitch underneath. So you're going to need to do this at every point that you have a point, if that makes sense. So on the claws, there's obviously a point at the top of the claw and then another point at the subsequent other bottom part of the claw. So all of that needs to be a fresh chain stitch. And once you've done that, I'm just going to take the thread up again and I'm actually going to pass this thread, the needle, the back end of the needle through the chain stitch now, just to give it like a really nice finish, really nice twist in there and make it stand out. And again, I'm going to repeat that same process. Once I come to a point, I'm going to take the needle down and then start again on the underneath. And this is just to make sure that we get a really nice clean point. If you've ever done whipped chain stitch before, you'll know that there's a tendency for it to sort of make very undulating curves and we want a really nice sharp point. So repeat that process on the other side to outline the other claw and then take it down to the tail. You're going to need one full strand of red floss and a pin and you're going to start doing some woven picots, my favourite stitch. So come up with your needle, go underneath this little pin here and then take your needle back down. Come up in the middle again with your thread underneath that pin and then you're just going to go under over under over try not to pull too tightly because what will happen is as you do your under over under over if you pull too tightly obviously you're going to end up with a really really narrow weave so try to be mindful don't pull too tight and use the end of your fingers and the pins or your needle just to make sure that those two sort of bits either side the two strands either side don't close completely and as you near the end just take the needle down through the fabric and you finish that first one so repeat that same process on the opposite side just measure it, make sure that it is, you know, a nice parallel or go by the drawing that you've done. Repeat exactly the same process. Again, very mindful not to pull too tightly when you do your weave so that it's not too narrow. And once you finish that completely, you're just going to take your needle back down through the fabric and then you'll do a final little woven picot in the middle just to finish off that tail. Okay, last little step here is just to hold these little bits of the towel in place with a stitch. So I'm just going to come up with my same red colour and I'm just going to put a little stitch at the end of each one of these woven picots just to hold them in place to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. And once I've done that, I wasn't really sure if I was finished or not. I kind of felt like I was going to leave the claws plain just like this, but then I decided it kind of looks a bit naked and a little bit weird. So I decided to go back in and fill out these claws. And I just done that using a full strand of this same red. And I'm just gonna do some French knots just to fill it in real quick. And that is the finished lobster design. I've really tried to make it, um, I don't know, accessible for beginners. Hopefully it's a really nice, easy project, something for you to practice on and a whole heap of design ideas can come from this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon.